There are hundreds of different multi-copter platforms ranging from beginner to expert, with tons of different settings and functions. Choosing which drone to buy can be very overwhelming, but there are many different factors that go into deciding which drone is best for you. First, what are your goals with your drone? Are you hoping to fly just for fun? To participate in drone racing? To capture aerial photography shots? To capture aerial videos? For agricultural purposes? Or something else? Drones are usually built for specific use cases, and knowing what you want to use it for is important before purchasing a drone. The second thing to consider is the quality of the camera. If you are purchasing a drone for aerial photography purposes, the camera should be crucial to your decision. The quality of the camera makes a huge difference in the price of a drone. Many people are shocked to see that inexpensive toy drones even come with a camera. The reality is, though, that you can't really use those pictures for much. Many prosumer drones shoot in 4K, which translates into 4,000 pixels per inch. To put this into context, your high-definition TV at home probably displays images in 1080p. Shooting in 4K is a four times improvement in quality. One thing to beware of is if cameras have a fisheye effect, like the older versions of the GoPro. The fisheye effect is when the edges of the image are curved almost as if you're looking into a fishbowl. Although fisheye lenses provide for a wider field of view, the distortion in the picture often looks unprofessional. Thankfully, newer models of drones come with cameras that keep the wide field of view without compromising the image. Many professional drone pilots are using different types of cameras, such as a thermal imaging camera. With these cameras, they can fly over a fire and see hot spots, see heat leaking out of a roof, or find a missing person in the woods. Once you decide on the camera, you need to think about how the camera will be held to your drone. This is the gimbal. It holds and stabilizes the camera. There have been huge technological advances to the gimbal over the past few years. If video is important to you, the gimbal quality is a huge consideration. For example, if you use a gimbal on one of the older Phantom 2s, the video quality was so unsteady that the video was essentially useless. Also, in many cases, the gimbal only has a range of motion on one axis, meaning that it can only tilt up and down. This means that if you would like to move the camera left or right, you must actually turn the drone in the direction that you desire. On the other hand, the DJI Inspire series features a gimbal that has a 360 degree range of motion, meaning it can go both up and down and left and right simultaneously. Battery life is one of the biggest technological constraints on the drone industry. As a UAV becomes heavier by carrying more equipment, such as a camera, the more battery power it requires. As you increase the battery size, the drone gets heavier and eats more of the battery power. Here's a trivia question. How many minutes do you think one Phantom battery lasts for? The answer is only 23 minutes. If you plan on flying for an hour, you may need four to eight batteries, depending on the UAV. You will be even more surprised to know that just one battery costs $150. Make sure you consider the cost of batteries in your budget. The final considerations are size and price. There are three main types of drones. The micro drone, also known as a toy drone or nano drone. The prosumer drones, which are the most popular models that you often see in the news and professional drones, which are designed to be able to carry expensive cameras and other equipment. 